In this video, I'll show you four AI prompts that every single architect should know. Starting in synapse.app right here, we can get started by basically drawing a frame. And this can be any type of frame with any type of size, and I'll just choose the A3 format for now. Now, basically what a frame is, you can imagine the dark gray background as the table, and basically the frame is the paper on which you will draw, right? So we can go ahead and create floor plans just by using words. And I'm going to show you exactly how. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and use a rectangular tool. So basically I can use a rectangular tool and draw a boundary of our house or apartment. So in this instance, depending on how many bedrooms we want, we kind of have to guess the size of the rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the boundary based on a two bedroom apartment. In that case, I'll just leave it eight meters by 11 meters and I'll click enter. And then I will keep the boundary selected. I will switch to floor plan generation right here and I will type in two bedroom apartment and I'm gonna send. And in about three seconds, we should have a fully editable layout. So this is what it generated for us. This doesn't mean that it is perfect it's always a good start to generate ideas. So for example, we can even go ahead and draw something else, like let's say uh, 12 by seven. And then I'm gonna type in two bedroom apartment again. And basically this will generate many variations for us in seconds. Now the very cool part about all of this is that it is fully editable. So we can select the wall, we can move it around. We can also, you know, select the door and actually flip it. Over here, we can go to uh, inside, outside. We can flip the swing as well, which is very, very cool. And this could be the entrance, for example. This, we can delete the wall completely and leave it an open kitchen if you want to. So this could be the living area with the open kitchen and two bedrooms. And I think this is quite good, to be honest. Now, there are always things that we can improve over here. Like, for example, this window, we might not need it. Uh, that wall is fine here. We could leave some sort of, I don't know, pantry over here. So we can close this off. And as you can see, we can draw on top of this and modify it as much as we want. So for example, I can go here at the wall tool and I can draw a wall starting from here and then closing right on this side. And then I can just delete this completely if I wanted to. Uh, let me just make this 90 degrees. Um, and basically this is, we can generate floor plans and get to ideas and drawings a lot faster rather than doing it manually. Now this doesn't mean that it will fully replace you at this stage uh, and it will not fully replace the layout design stage, but it's gonna get better and this just came out. now. We can also go ahead and for example, in this bedroom, we can select uh, this room right here. We can just click on bedroom and we can choose a fill. So for example, um, some sort of hatch, which can be uh, flooring. So we can leave it at herringbone flooring. We can make the stroke uh, a lot softer. We can go to advanced. Uh, we can lower down the scale. So it is very good in terms of drawing and it is a lot faster than using AutoCAD, for example. And you can also go here to the asset library and then you know drag and drop assets. Like for example, this dining table, we can just drag and drop right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the room once again and make it even uh, softer. So something like this. And then we can basically scroll downwards for the other assets. We can drag and drop a bed here. Uh, this might be a bit out of scale in terms of size. We can easily resize it because it's all fully editable. We can take this window out completely, right? So it is a very good way and it is a lot faster than just starting from a blank canvas as long as you have a boundary of what you wanna create. And we can test this out with any size of an apartment. So for example, I can draw a rectangle for a three bedroom apartment and I can type in, I guess, 14 by nine and I can go ahead and try the floor plan generation for a three bedroom apartment. So it basically did a three bedroom apartment for us as well which honestly, it came out looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, what we can do is probably, you know, the corridor is a bit too big and there's some windows in wrong places, but overall it gives us a very good start. So over here we can have the living room with a balcony and a kitchen, the three bedrooms, you could probably just make this a larger bedroom or something like that, but this is how good this works. And I think it is very important for architects, you know, to get started with this in case you're stuck with doing a floor plan and testing out different generations all through Synapse, that app, which you can get started for free by clicking on the link below. Now, next up, what I wanna show you is that if you've already you know, generated something with a floor plan generation, and then you've edited with hatches, you've put in furniture, and you're kind of almost set up with your schematic design, there is a very interesting tool that you can use a prompt on, which is the camera tool right here. 
you can basically click on the camera to place it on the floor plan and give the direction of the view for something like this. While you keep the camera selected, you can go ahead and switch on over here. And we can go ahead and type in something like a living room in a, I don't know, New York high rise luxury apartment in a cozy setting, right? So we can just give it a prompt. And by the way, pro tip, uh, I've noticed that with this prompting, when you're doing renders and 3D visualization, specifying a location is a huge thing into actually having a better outcome. So once we click here, we can turn a floor plan into a realistic render in 9.8 seconds. And this is not just a random generation, I'm gonna show you exactly why. Because if you actually select on the camera, you can click live preview on right here, and it actually creates a real scale 3D model with just one click based on the floor plan. So this is all real scale as you can see right here. Everything matches the wall, it matches the distance of the windows and everything. Now, what we can do here as well, if you want to take it to a whole new level, is that for example, we can tell it, make windows full height, floor, floor to ceiling, three meters. And then we can always go ahead and iterate more based on this. So this is just absolutely insane. I dragged and dropped the camera here and in 9.8 seconds, in turn the exact same dimensions of the floor plan, the same exact scale into a render right here. And now it actually also changed the size of the window as we needed to. Now, we can go ahead and iterate multiple times with this branching feature that Synapse offers. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in make walls olive, make walls olive green. Send, I'm gonna go ahead and say, make walls blue navy. Send, and now you can see that we have two options from two prompts which are branched off of this. Now, basically we can continue and prompt this on and on and on, test new options. So we can say, uh, make the flooring light uh, chevron. We can click send, and then we can tell this one, for example, uh, make the carpet dark gray. It actually keeps everything else in what we made it to. So for example, it made the floor and lights run here and it makes the changes based on the prompt and is so good. I don't think there is a faster way for us to test design options right now. Going from the floor plan to a visualization, but now I'm gonna show you how we can try out specific furniture and specific designs onto a render here. So for example, I can keep this selected. If you downloaded a sofa online and you know you want to test it out in your design, you can basically keep the frame selected. You can go ahead and type in replace the sofa with this one and it will click send. And basically we can test out any type of furniture that we want here. We can even add, for example, pendant light. And then we can basically say transparent for the AI to basically be able to um, isolate it easier. And then we can choose whatever type of pendant lighting that we want here, for example, on the living room. Uh, in this instance, I'm just gonna choose a whatever, random one. So I can just choose this one. I'm gonna save the image, I'm gonna go back here. So it basically replaced the sofa here. I can go ahead and upload the pendant lighting. I can say, add this pendant light in the center of the room. Look how fast this does it. I mean, isn't this absolutely insane? We're basically designing by typing here. And we've tested design options. We did floor plan generation with AI. This is all doable in Synapse. By the way, if you use the first link below, you'll get 600 free AI credits as soon as you join Synapse for absolutely free, by the way. So right here, as you can see, it also added the pendant light in the center. Now we can also change the style completely. So we can say, for example, um, make the living room boho style. We can click send and we can say, make this neo classical style. So we can test out multiple design options in terms of styles as well. And this is what makes it pretty cool. And this is why every single architect or anyone even designing a home, even if you're not an architect, should test this out. As you can see, it basically made it boho in one click and you can test if this fits uh, your needs. And then the neoclassical one, it messed around a little bit with uh, the windows back there, but still good enough just to test out and play around with it. Now, the next way we can prompt this is we can basically upload a wallpaper, any type of material, and we can tell it, uh, replace the wall materials, the walls, material with this wallpaper. 
you can click send and in just a few seconds it should have something very cool generated for us. Boom, so now it has replaced the walls here with an actual pattern that we needed. This is the fastest way for anyone to test out floor plan options, to test out design options. And I mean, it's, it's just insane to think about this, that AI has come this far and lets us have this much control just by typing. By the way, if you wanna test out these four prompts for yourself, go ahead and click the first link below to get 600 free AI credits from Synapse. And if you wanna check more on how I use Synapse on day-to-day -day design, go ahead and watch the video right here.